guys and welcome back. Uh, yes, today we're going to talk about Usher. Uh, five things you need to know about Usher Raymond. One, he's a hoe. Two, he's a hoe. Three, he's a hoe. And four and five, he's a nasty hoe. <laughs> well, now, I don't give that badge to everyone, but I believe uh, I will give it to Mr. Raymond. And I'll let you know how I came up with that uh, diagnosis. First of all, he uh, had a nasty little split uh, from TLC singer Rosanda Thomas, better known as Chili. Um, despite them appearing to be the perfect couple, they apparently had a huge falling out. Uh, after the breakup, uh, Chili, in December of 2003, uh, visited Atlanta's Q100, the Burt Show, and told the world that Usher did the ultimate no-no. She stated, I will never be with him again, and that is that. She told the radio show. He portrayed himself to be his honest, this honest and great guy, and he really wasn't. All right. Now, after that um, breakup, he released his uh, 2004 album, Confessions. And a lot of people uh, say that was uh, that song was about him and Chili. However, uh, we did find that he was uh, also cheating on Chili with his stylist, uh, Tamika, Tamika Foster. A few years after the split uh, from Chili, uh, Tamika and uh, Usher got married. But their marital bliss didn't last long. After having two children together, Usher, who reportedly hadn't been living with Foster for some time, he filed for the divorce in 2009, less than a year after the second child was born. Uh, now, after that, they had a nasty uh, court battle uh, for who was going to get full custody of the children. Um, now, Tamika, on the uh, in court, she reportedly accused him of cheating on her with her bridesmaid. As this custody battle wasn't bad enough, uh, Tamika claimed that Ursha had cheated on her with her former bridesmaid and their kid's nanny, uh, Maya Davis. Now, during a cross examination. Foster's lawyer reportedly asked Usher about the children, multiple nannies, asking if Maya Davis quit because you were discovered in bed with her. Ha! This is with the nanny. In response, Usher reportedly made a face and his lawyer quickly objected to the question. Well, you know, in the end, the court ruled that Usher would maintain primary custody of the children, though he appeared to feel bad about the outcome. Uh, People magazine noted that uh, after the verdict was read, he hugged Tamika and whispered, I'm sorry. Now, we don't know exactly what he was sorry about. <laughs> was it a sorry about a going to his bridesmaid, sorry about the full custody battle, or sorry about uh he screwed the the maid. Anyway, um after that split up, he went on Oprah's next chapter and and said um uh that he blamed uh Tamika for their train wreck of a relationship. Uh, he said he really felt like he, they were friends, 
but she made us enemies in a way that I could never understand. All right. And one thing he admitted, he said, uh, he revealed that toward the end of their marriage, he lost and desperately wanted to find a way to end things. Uh, He says he didn't cheat on her emotionally, that is. No, uh, Usher said, I was faithful at heart, but not faithful all the way, he explained. Even having a conversation with another woman, period, about matters of your relationship or emotion is, in my opinion, not being faithful. (laughs) So, what does that mean exactly? Well, that he slept with another woman while he was married, apparently, but not until he and Foster were separated. Hmm. I don't know about that. Now, after that, we're going to come on up to 2015. We found out on the Ellen DeGeneres show that the singer got hitched to uh, Grace Miguel in Cuba in 2015, spending their honeymoon there afterwards. Um, they've been uh, linked together romantically since 2009. And yes, Grace is just like Tamika. A, a lot older <laughs> than uh, Usher. Uh, and they wondered why they kept it secret, uh, the marriage secret. And many people s- stated that um, um, Usher's mom, Janetta Payton, uh, did not approve of her son's relationship. And that's why uh, they kept their marriage secretly. And uh, also, she definitely didn't uh, approve of him marrying um, Tamika Foster, and she didn't even go to the wedding. But as of that, you probably would say, okay, Usher has, uh, you know, uh, gotten married and uh, started a new life and going to be faithful this time. But with a new wife, you would you know, think he, he his cheating ways was over. But unfortunately, uh, the rumor mill hadn't slowed down one bit. Um, according to Media Takeout, Usher was forced to cancel the last leg of his 2012 tour when Miguel found out that he was allegedly involved with a backup dancer. Though the official story is that Usher broke three ribs. He was also uh, later uh, reportedly spotted and getting friendly with a tatted up beauty in uh, Hawaii. However, Usher later claimed that the woman and him were just friends. Okay. Well, as of July 2017, Radar Online reported that Usher was sued for having sex with a woman without telling her that he carried the incurable herpes virus. According to the report, the woman, who was also a celebrity stylist, and the woman who was bridesmaid to Tamika in their marriage, claimed that she once saw Usher's penis release a greenish discharge. But at that time, he reportedly convinced her that he'd tested negative for STDs and, as Usher allegedly exhibited no other symptoms, the two continued to have unprotected sex. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to give you some good, solid advice. If you are about to get sexually romantic with a man and his penis is releasing a greenish discharge, do not have unprotected sex with him. I don't care who he is. Do not. Think of a lie. 
get out of there. Say, mm, I'm tripping. I left my stove on. I sure did. Let me get up and go and cut my stove on. Tell him you'll be right back. You get your clothes on and you knock rocks. You run. In no form of fashion, have sex with this man. Not oral sex, not vi- uh, vagina sex, not even phone sex. You get out of there. But unfortunately, this woman didn't get my advice in time. Um, the woman soon realized that she was given an STD by Usher. She reportedly woke up one day feeling very sick with a fever of 100 degrees, chills, headaches, aches, and pains, noticing lesions and blisters in her vagina. She visited a doctor who soon diagnosed her with herpes. Now, Usher reportedly paid for the woman's medical bills totaling $2,754.40. But, After allegedly admitting that he did indeed carry the herpes virus, he soon had to cough up a whole lot more money. On December 28, 2012, he settled the dispute, agreeing to pay a whopping $1.1 million. Now, After Usher's reported lawsuit with the stylist was exposed, another woman came forward claiming that the singer had had unprotected sex with her without telling her, which is a crime in the state of California. According to TMZ, the woman referred to as Jane Doe I filed a lawsuit against Usher, accusing him of negligence, battery, and emotional distress for recklessly exposing her to the herpes virus. At the time, she reportedly sought at least $10 million in damages. Yes. Hear the dogs howling. It's a sad day. But, however, days later... TMZ reported that the same woman discovered that after receiving test results from her doctor, she now allegedly carries the herpes virus. Now, in response to that devastating news, her lawsuit went from $10 million to $20 million. Now, Usher's ex- STD exposure accusations multiply. The singer's legal trouble is far from over because on August 4th, 2017, TMZ reported that two women and one man hired uh, celebrity lawyer Lisa Bloom to represent them. Um, The suit says Ursha had allegedly engaged in vagina sex with at least one of the women and in oral sex with the man. Now, In a press conference on August 6th, um, by way of ABC News, one accuser identified as Quantasia Sharpton, this is her on this picture, uh, came forward telling reporters, I feel that my rights were violated. She claimed that she met Usher after his security guards contacted her during one of his concerts, where she had been celebrating her 19th birthday. Now, the two reportedly met at a hotel where she said they had, what, unprotected sex. Now, court docs reportedly state that all three accusers who are suing Usher for failing to disclose his alleged herpes diagnosis before engaging in sexual activity with them suffered extreme emotional distress, depression, and anxiety after learning that Usher may carry the STD. Now, uh, while Sharpton admitted that she has tested negative, um, her lawyer confirmed that one of her other clients who wishes to keep their identity private has tested positive. Now, 
uh, Bloom, um, their attorney, also revealed that she's been in contact with other potential clients who have accused Usher of similar crimes. Now, Usher has yet to publicly comment on the STD uh, accusations. Now, the moral of the story is do not have unprotected sex and you won't get a sexually transmitted disease. That's the moral of the story. But, um, you know, in this time and day, why would you have unprotected sex with anyone? Um, And they need to be uh, getting tested not only for herpes, but HIV, uh, the clap, every, every other STD uh, test they need to do. Because, I mean, they might have anything. I mean, you're talking about. Oh, mm. But tell me how you feel. Now, do you feel sorry for Usher, who um, now he's losing all this money because of them, these women and men? You know, I I really do think it's going to be more people come forward and it's going to be more people not come forward that he's been with because they were going to be absolutely embarrassed to come forth. Uh, Now, do you think Usher is to blame? You know, I mean, the all of these uh, women and men of other are of its legal age and. I, do you feel they should have uh, uh, had protected sex? Or do you feel like uh, Ursha um, deliberately wanted to give him <laughs> this STD? I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel sorry for Ursha, one thing. And really, you know, I don't feel too sorry for these women and men. Because in this day of age, they knew better. Well, you just let me know. Click the comment button. Let's talk about this. (laughs) As in parting, you be blessed. And until next time.